Hello everyone and welcome to the Beyond Tutorial, Tutorials Part 7 and today we'll be showing you some more advanced um, AI components. First we'll be starting with how do we make our character respond. So the easiest way to do this, instead of getting deleted, we'll do circ.icon state equals to just a blank value. And what will happen is your computer will look through your um, enemy um, icon file and it'll be like, okay, there's no value that is equal to blank, so it'll equal to nothing. Because there's no value in here that is equal to that. So I could have called this elephant because there's no uh, value that's equal to elephant. And then we want to wait some time before we get responded. And then we want to do circ icon state is equal to skull. But what happens if we have a bunch of different icons that have a bunch of different um, icon states? Well, what we could do is make a variable for that. We'll call it base icon. And then we should, if we're starting to make other enemies, we should make this enemy under its own tree called skull. And then what you'll need to do is you need to go to the map, and you'll need to go mob, enemy, skull, your skulls should be invisible, and just re-click on them, or uh, whatever enemy you have, just re-click on them and they should appear again. So now that it's under its own tree, we can do base icon equals to skull. And we never really want to change the value of base icon, it's always going to be the value of the icon state. Unless the icon state changes permanently, then we want to change the base icon. Because the base icon, we're just going to keep hold of its icon, its original icon state. So we can do circ.icon state equals solve, but now we can do circ.icon state equals, oh, killed, killed, and then we can do killed the icon state. Well, kill dot equals base icon. Like kill dot icon state equals kill dot base icon. And then what we want, probably want to do is we want to make it so it'll respawn its health. So kill dot max HP or dot HP. So it's current HP equals to killed dot max HP. And then we want to do a health check to update its health bar. And we'll make that value lower just so we can test it soon. And we also want to make it so the player doesn't move. So walk killed zero. You can look, this is a predefined proc in Beyond. You can look up this up in the references. Um, it usually takes four arguments. I just put in two. It just basically means killed um, doesn't walk anymore. This is the expression to make it so your your mob just stands in one place. You go you name the the current mob, and then you name, you press, you say zero, and it'll stop moving. So what do we have so far? We're gonna run into a few problems because first of all, it doesn't respawn at a location, and it's still hurting me, and it doesn't stop moving. It doesn't stop moving. So why is that? Well, that's because you have another code that is counteracting that that walk statement, and that is this walk towards. Every 10 milliseconds, if your code senses an enemy, it'll walk towards it. Now how can we get rid of that? Well, we can make a target. So make another variable, and have this target variable. Uh, I put in the mob tree because these variables, they will be both belong, you might want a mob, you might want a player to have a target eventually, and you might want a player to have his base icon saved. So I put in the mob tree so the enemies and the player will um, be able to get these variables. So if m.client and oh, oops, and circ.target, so now you only want to walk walk towards the player if the if the if the mob does not have a target. And then when it walks towards the target, now you want to make it so the the target is equal to the mob that it's walking towards. So now that it has a target, it will no longer walk towards 
you will no longer run this code to walk towards this mob. And walk towards will make a a mob walk towards a a player infinitely. So even though it's not constantly circulating through this walk towards, walk towards will will walk to the 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 circ from the from the enemy to the mob forever until you do something like walk uh, circ zero. So when, once it um, once we call this code, we no longer want it to run anymore, and so we do we make it have a target. So now that it has a target when it's dead. It should not move. And now it'll not move forever. And to fix that, we go in here and we just go kill dot target equals to null. So null is a reference to nothing. So it's kill dot target equals nothing. So we make sure the target is equal to nothing again. And if it's equal to nothing, if it's equal to nothing, it'll be able to run this walk towards code again. And then we want to also make it so the player doesn't get damaged anymore. So go to our our damage code. So for mob M and get step, if M dot client and the mob's icon state is not equal to this is the symbol for not equal to is not equal to nothing so if it's not equal to the icon state we set of that when it responds as long as it's not equal to that icon state it should go through its enemy code so we attack it see it's not attacking us we're good and get it to its respawn point So we'll make another variable here called respawn, and when you're programming your game, you have to think, okay, when do I want to set this respawn point? Well, a good point to set your respawn point is when the mob is created, because then you can make its respawn point equal to its original position. So you can do circ dot respawn equals circ dot lock. So when it's create created right away, it'll set its uh, circ dot respawn variable into its current location. Search.lock is a variable that's already predefined that is equal to mobs or objects current location. And now we need to actually go to that location when we die. So we got killed dot lock equals to so our location equals to our respawn point. So now we should kill it. And the only thing left now is that annoying health bar. But we will probably work on that next tutorial. Um, what are things? To, I'll just briefly summarize things we'll be doing next tutorials. Um, we'll be probably doing more AI next tutorial, and then we will be working on you know XP bars, how to gain your stats up, all in the simplest ways I can think of. And then um, eventually we might start getting to more advanced mechanics. Um, Abilities like projectiles, um, hotkey system, all those other systems will be slowly building up. Right now, the combat is building up to actually be meaningful and um, be something. So, we have a pretty strong base right now, but um, we'll keep on building on. So, if you have any questions um, about how I code, just leave a comment, and I usually check my comments. And I'll probably answer you and hopefully have a better explanation for you. So thank you for watching and have a good day.